Hello. Oh, hi. How are your dumplings? Delicious. Look at this guy and his puppy dog eyes. Hi Jasper, you want some dumplings too, huh? All right folks, today is the start of my sewing journey. Uh, I mentioned this before, but I want to learn how to sew because A, I think it's an important life skill, but also B, when it comes to my clothing brand, I just want to have a more, I don't know, well-rounded understanding of the whole garment production process and just be able to provide more I guess kind of like tangible or tactical input to my designers because at this point all the feedback I'm able to provide is only stylistic feedback. So yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm also just excited to start something new and something that I haven't done really before. Um, and I think, I think it'll be fun. What do you think about your boyfriend learning how to sew? It's gonna be great. Patch up our kids clothes. I'm gonna be able to cook their lunches. Very good domesticated couple. So in order to learn properly, I'm taking an eight week long course, once a week, two hours. It's like an adult learning to sew basics course. But for that, um, I need to pick up like my sample fabric for our project and some thread. Uh, so we're gonna go do that. Jasper, do you wanna go to the studio? Do you wanna go fabric shopping? Well, you're not coming with me, but you can go to the studio. Okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go. Go. Oh my gosh. Jazz. Oh my god. Got the zoomies. Alright, so the first project for the sewing class is gonna be a zero waste tote bag, it says. I'm assuming when they mean zero waste, they're meaning like the pattern pieces that we're gonna be cutting out. There's not gonna be excess fabric left over. Um, they said use cotton, cotton blends, light denim, canvas, 0.75 meters, as well as thread. So I'm gonna meet up with a friend and then we're just gonna kind of shop around for some fabric for our tote bag. Not sure what it's gonna look like or what kind of fabric, but um, I guess we'll see. Oh. Maya, say hi. This is Maya. She's taking the sewing class with me. Okay, that's it. Across the street with the blinking signs too. Okay. Well. She got it. <laughs> so I'm gonna tell her to take a look at the denim tote bag. I think that'd be fire. Yeah, denim tote bag. Or like denim with that like patch, that like patchwork denim. Yeah, that has, like, oh, it looks so good. I don't know. Yeah. It looks so good. Crazy. Okay. Maya, what do you want? We're on the second one still? Oh my god. Catch her up. Yeah. <laughs> With the needle in? With the needle in. So you're using that as your pivot. <laughs> Just giving her the proper sewing posture. Oh, yeah. Day one in the books. Good morning, Jasper. Good morning. Okay. Ah. <laughs> All right, buddy. So the sewing class yesterday was actually a lot of fun. Um, can't remember if I mentioned this, but I took a middle class like sewing. It's like a home ec program in middle school. I think a lot of people took it in high school, but I remember taking it quite young and being very 
frustrated at the whole like bobbin and like threading the machine. But genuinely yesterday I had a great time and I think it was great um, that I had Maya with me. Um, I was a little bit nervous before class started because I just didn't know anyone. I do have quite a bit of social anxiety, but honestly it was just such a fun time. I think mainly because you know, I can't really remember the last time I did something new. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a while. Really exciting because I felt like, you know, not only is it gonna be beneficial for work, but it was something that I could do with my hands and not necessarily zone out because that's dangerous, but more so really focus on what I was doing and kind of not think of anything else in the background because you're just kind of paying attention to the sewing machine and the noise it makes is kind of relaxing. Anyways, I really enjoyed it. Uh, making myself a little poorer right now. Hold on. Okay. I also have a very exciting announcement. Uh, this is someone who will be appearing in more of the vlogs. Um, you know, hard to say if it's gonna be every single vlog, but definitely the majority of the vlogs, um, they're gonna be a big aspect kind of of my life moving forward. Um, and I'm excited to introduce you to my new sewing machine. Wow. Uh, they don't have a name yet. I was thinking, I don't know. You guys can leave suggestions in the comment section. But to me, this is a Brett. Like, Brett. Like a big Brett. <laughs> I should purchase the sewing machine the day I signed up for the class, which I wouldn't recommend. Um, probably go to your class first and then your instructors can kind of give you some feedback on which machines they would recommend. But you know, I just got very excited. I prematurely pulled the trigger and here it is. I actually threaded uh, this machine, set the bobbin yesterday after class. Let me show you this bad boy in action. So this is some of the fabric from my tote bag project that I have left over. And I'm thinking of making Jasper like a little like kibble pouch puzzle that I can like stuff into his ball to use for a little enrichment. Um, basically, it should be a very simple project. I can kind of envision it in my mind. I'll just like leave two openings at the top. Yeah, it should work. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try it because why not? I think one of the best ways of learning is just by doing. Um, I was actually talking to like a creator the other day um, and she was like, oh yeah, I wanna get into making YouTube videos. Um, and she's been like watching a lot of like how-to videos um, and how to edit and blah, blah, blah. And I said, instead of doing that, actually edit a video, edit a vlog. And then when you stumble across like a roadblock on like how to do something specific, then that's when you can like search things up if that makes sense. So I'm gonna take that same approach for my sewing as well. I mean, obviously I'm still taking that sewing class, but I'm just gonna try and do like little projects here and there you know, do my research and um, just give her. Start with the back stitch. Too fast, too fast. And then go forward. Pin in, pressure foot up, swivel. Um, and then we're just gonna go around it. All right, here's what we got so far. Little pouch with an opening. It's actually got two openings. One opening here, and then this opening's too small, but we got one opening. Um, and I think I'm gonna try and put some kibble in here. Oh, what's this, Jasper? What is this? Ooh, mysterious new toy. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yep, you get a freebie. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. This is Jasper's toy ball. So we're just gonna stuff this little kibble pouch in here. Okay, go get it, go. We'll see if he can get it. Come on, Jasper, you can do it. Yeah, roll it around. Oh my goodness, yeah, use your paws. Oh my God, he got a treat. Jasper, use your paws, yes. Jasper, it's in there. Yeah, 
Well, anyways, that'll keep him busy for a bit. It'll tire him out. What? Oh! <laughs> you got it! Maybe that was too easy. <laughs> Jesper, I think you're ready for a few more stitches in the bag. Maybe in the future, I can actually make like a little stuffed animal for Jasper. That'd be cute. Would you like that dog? But yeah, folks, I guess this is the start of my little my little sewing journey. I'm just really excited to see kind of what comes out of it and just what I learn in the process of everything, not only for my work and business, but just kind of personally. Just have another kind of creative hobby that doesn't involve a screen. Um, I think it's just gonna be really nice for me personally. But yeah, if you're a sewer, if you sew and you have any tips or recommendations, things to get, things that'll make my life a little bit easier. But yeah, who knows? Maybe in the future I'll do like truly custom one of one pieces um, and do everything myself. I think that'd be really exciting. Um, but yeah, I think, I think I'm really, I'm just really happy about this decision and I've just, finally like taking the steps for me to actually do it because talking about it is one thing right but actually signing up for the course or actually learning it yourself um i think yeah it's just kind of like the logical next steps and i'm just excited so anyways thank you guys for watching and remember to be less shitty right jasper can you give me a fist bump fist bump jasper goodbye fist bump come on oh thanks buddy